These are some big ones. <laughs> so let's get to work. Two big packages that look very much identical. I'm pretty sure I know what these are, but I've got a couple big ones coming in, so not 100% sure. Oh. That mix coming through with the individual encasements for each of these. Yep, that's what these are. These are more Engelhard, baby. Oh, I'm very excited to check these out. And I guess we're gonna have to open these up one by one. Oh wait, there's more. There you go. There you have it. Basically cleaned them out. value all the price is low and so that's what you have to do desperate times go for desperate measures let's take a look see what we got look to be so far so not rare I got two P series and the two range P2 something P2 something P6 something I don't think these are rare probably got swindled on these honestly oh this on the other hand is definitely a keeper bullhead logo Oh yeah, that's a, that's a sexy one. I'm happy about this one. And I did pay extra actually for a bull logo. And so I did get, uh, I'm not gonna say I got swindled on it, but I did pay for that. So unless I have two bull logos in here, I'm not gonna be that happy about it because I did pay for that. It's a P1. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty low moment. I'm looking for some P0s. I've got quite a few P0s. P4, oh, these aren't. I mean, I do love them. They're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They're gorgeous. I wouldn't want any other bike. P5. But these are quite, quite modern. And I'm not going to say generic. I don't want to use the word generic for an Engelhard. But these are all P series. I haven't ran into a single W series. That would be nice. P11. So this is my first. No, nope, there's a P10 there. So that's actually the lowest that I've got so far. Take a look. What else we got here, guys? P256. Oh. 
I guess I did see this coming, so... I did see this coming, that I would get a lot of not-so-interesting Hengelhards. Uh, and that's kind of what you happen when you buy from these bigger stores. P2. But, uh, what can you do? It will be easier to unload in the future, but, uh, P24. Wow. What a, what a, I hate to use the word disappointing. I'm sure many people are just calling me a spoiled little bit. Tunio, the Tunio. But, um, honestly, the first few, uh, Englehard apes were much, much more satisfying. These came from Apmex. Uh, whereas previous to that, I do believe we cleaned out SD Bullion on their Inglehard bars. So, there you have it. Uh, I know JM Bullion does have uh, about 46 Inglehards in stock right now. Um, I think that's a little bit too rich for my blood. I don't think I could clean somebody out for 46 Inglehard 100 ounce bars. But, uh... If you guys are interested in these, they aren't uh, difficult to find right now. When spot price is low, um, it is a good way to store value. Um, as you can see, I have been obsessing about storing value, and so uh, that's why I have been collecting these, and I'm very happy to be holding these long-term, and I don't really have any intention of really selling these anytime soon. So uh, there you have it. This kind of concludes. I think I might have a couple more Engelhards loose coming in the mail still, but uh, for the most part, this kind of concludes my... Uh, uh, at least my short-term stacking on Engelhard 100 ounce bars. Hope you enjoyed the video.